with another comparison video, this time between the soft lip stick in Peach Mango and the chapstick in Mango Sunrise, so let's get started. First off, the format is the same on both of these. They're both sticks, even though one's skinnier and taller than the other one, but they are both sticks. Packaging-wise, I feel like the soft lips leaves a lot to be desired, and they may or may not have thought this through well enough in their color scheme, because for these dimensions, and for the way that they have the twisty thing back here and right there, and then we have the short little cap here, plus the body of it is mostly white, and using this color of orange here, it sort of evokes a cigarette vibe, in my opinion. It really does, and that bugs the hell out of me. I'm probably the only one who's overanalyzed it to this degree, but that's what it makes me think of, and it also doesn't help that it's about the same weight as a cigarette, too, so... Yeah, I'm not that wild about the packaging on this one. Packaging on this, at least, is cute. It's a pretty standard chapstick packaging, but it's pretty cute and pretty accurate for what it's supposed to be for, so it's got that going for it. I don't believe either one of these are natural or organic. Um, this is, I think, the only one that's part of a limited edition set. This one, I think, is part of their permanent collection now, to the best of my knowledge, anyway. Um, but yeah, this is just part of the Tropical Paradise collection. The amount of product you get is where it's a little bit baffling, but makes sense when you take into account, look how much skinnier around this guy- well, actually, let's go from this end. That this one is, than this one. It may be taller, but take into account that the twisty end of it ends here, the cap is right here, so you only have from here to here with actual product in it. That's not very much, and given how much skinnier this is too, this really cuts down on the amount of product you get, and only ends up being, I know what it is offhand, but I'm trying to show you guys, 0 0.07 ounces. At least with this guy, you have a standard 0 0.15 ounces. So, you get way more in this than you do in this. Shelf life on them, I don't think either one has a proper expiration date, so I think you can just kind of keep using them till whenever. Price point wise, I think this is cheaper than the chapstick, but that could change if you find this individually. Some of my viewers have told me they've been finding the Tropical Paradise collection more recently sold individually instead of in the three pack like it originally was. And if you find it individually, they may be about on par with each other for being about $2.99 or so. But yeah, just on its own, that's kind of pricey for this. And I think on their website it was even a little bit more than that, but I'm not positive. Don't quote me on that. I could be wrong there. It's been a while since I bought it. Um, the sturdiness factor. This is very sturdy. I trust it to hold up in a purse. This I don't. This feels really flimsy back here, and I honestly thought I was about to break it when I first got it, because for some unknown reason I thought this was the cap, and this was the twisty end, but alas, no, this is your little turning wheel, and that's your cap, and I damn near broke it, but it was wiggly like this from the get-go. It's part of why I thought that was the cap, I thought it was gonna just pop off, uh, pop off real easy, but no, it didn't, so. Yeah. This one's got an SPF 20 in it. This doesn't have any SPF in it. And this is medicated, whereas the chapstick isn't. It's got, I think, four active ingredients here. We've got dimethicone 2%, ox, uh, or octanoxate 7.5%, octisalate 3%, and oxybenzone 3%. None of those in this guy. Um... In terms of scent, I'll open them both up, even though I know what they both smell like, but for the sake of argument, this one just smells like a really standard peach, but I mean, at least that's the first word in the flavor name, so this one's pretty accurate. This one 
smells like orange juice. It does not smell like a mango to me. Sorry. I know I say it every time, but it really just smells like actual orange juice. Color-wise, they both go on clear, but the color of the wax is different. This one is sort of a pale orange, and this is like a natural white. And it does give you a hint about the shiny factor, even just looking at them in the light of that. This is super shiny, and this is pretty dull to look at. Flavor-wise, um, this actually does have a little bit of a very, very subtle hint of peach to it when it's on your lips. This one... I haven't really noticed any flavor with, but that could be me. Um, Consistency-wise, this is thicker than this by a landslide. Even though it's not a particularly thick lip balm in and of itself, I would consider this to be a medium thickness, whereas this is a very thin thickness. It's almost watery in its consistency. Not quite, but it's very thin. It's very lightweight on your lips. It almost feels like water. You almost forget it's there, except that it is a bit greasy, so you don't forget it's there because of that. This is also greasy, but it's thicker and feels like it stays on your lips better for that. Moisturization-wise, I feel like this does a little bit better of a job than the chapstick, but it's pretty equitable. It's pretty close to the same between the two. Uh, shine factor, though, I already mentioned it when I was showing you the, um, the wax, but this is really shiny and gives your lips a fairly wet look when you have it on, whereas this is an almost matte. It has a little shine to it, but not very much, so. But, yeah, um, oh, and the longevity factor. It's kind of a toss-up here between the two, but, again, since this is a little thicker and a little stickier, this tends to stay on your lips a little bit longer than the soft lips does but again it's pretty darn close so I would call it a toss-up anyway so if I had to pick one over the other one to use I feel like I would still pick this guy just because I prefer the scent personally but I think with the pros and cons they end up being about 50 50 for what's better with what it depends which factors mean more to you, I would say. So think of what you value in a lip balm and then go from there if you're trying to pick between these two. But I personally would go with this guy here. So anyway, that's about all I have to say on that. So as usual, if you like this video, click the like button. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Leave comments down below. And until next time, bye!